What's up ladies and gents and welcome to this Pez Universe 2324 season update option file v1 tutorial. So I'm going to go through this fairly quickly. As you can see here we have booted up Pez 2021 already and this is to get all the kits and the badges updated to the 2324 season. So the lads have actually given me um, access to this and I'm going to show you a tutorial of how to get it on because I'm actually going to be starting a master league myself. I know that the true Brits is as well so you might want to check that out but you will see here right that there is no online services uh, or live update in this game anymore and this is what you're probably going to look at if you've never used an option file before everything is going to be generic all the kits all the players everything pretty much is going to be generic apart from the license stuff here like arsenal okay so what we're going to do is we're going to change all that and update it to the 23 24 season so there's a couple of steps to do to go before we get to that right so it's going to be very easy right but if you've never done this before i'll go through it very very simply for you right the first thing that you're going to have to do obviously is to get the option file you can sign up as a member there um and you'll be able to sign up and once you are signed in and logged in you will all you have to do is navigate from there the into the hub 23 24 season update and then click on whichever one is there that will be updated by the time this video goes live and you'll be able to see it because this tutorial will be on that page as well i think the lads are going to use it so once you've that done we're going to download that and all that we're going to do is go over to the actual um this is what we need to do. So we've downloaded the option file. Now we need to extract it, right? We need to extract the WePez folder. So when you actually go, <clears throat> when you actually download this and you get it from here, um, you're actually going to have this right here. Wherever you've downloaded this file, it, whether it's on your documents, your desktop, wherever it is, this is what you're going to be left with. Now, all you're going to do is you're going to click on that and you're going to extract it or 7-zip it and extract to WePez. It doesn't make a difference which option that you use. You can use anything really to extract it if you need to. So 7-zip, WinZip, any of that. Once that's done, right, and you have the open folder here, we're just going to right-click on that. We're going to go to copy. And then all we're simply going to do is copy that into our uh into our second location that we want to have here right and we're going to paste it okay you can't see the paste because it's cut off there but that's all i'm doing copying and pasting right so right click to copy and then right click to paste that's basically what it is okay um paste there again or copy that's all you have to do so that's basically how you know i mean that's easy enough to understand i hope um once we've that done right we're actually going to go back here um, and we're going to go to the next step. So we've now completed download the option file, extracting the WePez folder, and copy the WePez folder to the USB. So once that's on your USB, now you can just reload up Pez 2021, pop your USB into the USB drive on your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5, and then you'll be going to go straight to the settings and then edit mode, right? That's all you need to do. Now, when you first load up this, you will see that there is no images here. There is nothing going on. Um, so what we're going to do first is go to import export, obviously using the edit mode feature here, import competitions. We're going to click all OK on this. I have it my drive. Let me just put that in there. Sorry, lads, that's a misstep on my behalf because I need to actually put the USB in. <laughs> So make sure that you actually do put the USB in. It has happened to me a few times where I'm like, why isn't it showing up? <laughs> but anyway, once you have that, you will be able to see whatever USB you're using that you've plugged in. Click on that. And then for the competitions, they will throw, show up as a different file. So you can basically just select all of these either manually or select them all automatically there by pressing uh, square. And then you're going to go to detailed. And all you're going to do, right, is if you have already um, installed an option file before or you're upgrading from last year or the year before, I recommend, lads, genuinely for these competitions, I recommend just popping this, right? Popping this uh, little box here, tick that, and then let it, do its, let it do its thing, okay? That's going to cycle through that there. And once that's finished, you just have to tap X and then go back through it. That will load the image list, right? Now, what that is after doing is that is after giving you all the competitions, right? So if you go in here to teams, you'll now have all the competition uh, logos, right? Now we need to do the team ones, Okay. So we're going to go to import export again, and then we're going to go to import team, the very one at the top there. Now, for this, we're just going to do the exact same thing, and we're going to tick every box here, right? If you have, right, once you've all these ticked, right, once you've all these ticked, if you have, um, if you have an option file from before, right, there might be one step in it where you need to delete everything, okay? You might need to delete everything from last season to make uh, use of that, right so if you if you before you do that step you might need to go into delete images 
and basically delete. This needs to be empty in here. There needs to be nothing in here. So if you have stuff in here, you need to delete it if you run out of space, right, before you install this. So you delete all the things that are in that. That only applies to if you have ever imported an option file before, whether it was two years ago, last year, or, you know, a couple of weeks ago or a couple of days ago if you're a, new, uh, a newcomer to PES 2021. But once you have that empty, right, then you're going to go into this. Uh, you don't need to worry about that. Obviously, you can skip that step if you've, you don't have, you've never used an option file before. Anyway, once we get back into here, we're just going to take every single box in here. I'm going to go to detail settings, and then we're just going to take the apply uh, player and squad data. And then we're just going to tick OK, right? That's going to import every single thing that you could possibly want. Now, I know that you can have a read as to what the, the plans are that the lads are going to be doing. I think they're going to do, um, I think it's like one league per week until the transfer window. Obviously, the transfer window is still open and there's going to be new transfers every day. Um, so I think the cutoff for this one was the 13th of August, which is the time I'm recording um, and that the file is going up. And then obviously there will be a new update next week, the week after. And then when the September uh, first deadline comes for the transfers, I think they're releasing the full version V2, which is going to be five leagues, I think, or six leagues fully updated before they move on then to other leagues like South American leagues and stuff like that. And as far as I know, but anyway, um, so keep an eye on that. That's going to do its thing. As I said, if you run out of image space here or anything like that, you do need to delete everything in the delete uh, section that I just showed you a couple of seconds ago. So we're going to let that run through and uh, I'll be back in a sec. All right, lads, so we've just that, done that there. So there's 40 teams in total. Now, I know that there's going to be future updates, but let me just show you what's included in V1. This is in early access beta, as far as I know. So if you see any uh, mistakes, you see any missing transfers, if you see anything at all that's missing, um, let me know in the comments below and I can pass it on to the team uh, of editors or else, um, you know, I mean, just let them know themselves, I suppose, uh, or whatever. But anyway, when we go in here now, we're actually going to see that we have changed and we have now got everything pretty much decently done um, in these two leagues. So uh, like, say, for example, we've got all the updated teams and all the updated stuff here. Um, even Manchester United here, if you go in, to them, you know, you've got some of the players that are back from loan that are still there, uh, you know, like with uh, either created faces, which look pretty decent, or else their actual in-game face, if they've got that. Uh, so yeah, look, it's a pretty decent file. Obviously, I'll probably wait to start a mass league until there's another league or two done, um, but it is a pretty decent file, again, from the lads. Um, so yeah, obviously, this is going to be a work in progress as the new season unfolds, because... Listen, I mean, the new season, it, the transfer window is not even closed yet, right? Um, and I know that they are working on different leagues and whatever as well, right? Um, but yeah, as far as I know, they've got even updated teams from today, which is the 13th of August, which Liverpool and Chelsea played. So for example, if you go in here to teams, um, one cool thing here as well, just to show you, is like all the transfers and stuff like that. Um, that have been done. So you've got like your fluid formations of like when you're in possession, when you're out of possession and when you are at kickoff um, and they've got today's teams. Now, obviously, there's going to be a couple of mistakes um, with certain players and stuff like that. Um, but small things, you know, small things that that probably need to be um, just fed back. But for all intents and purposes, it looks it looks like a banging file and I can't wait to start a master league. So I'll just show you a little slideshow there that they they, they sent me. Um, so that is obviously just a slideshow there of the in-game stuff, just to give you a quick cycle through that. But yeah, look, I will be starting a mass league with this. I know PES 2021 is an old kind of game now, um, compared to eFootball 2024, just around the corner. But listen, man, I love offline PES. Like, I just love that challenge of playing the AI, especially when you just don't have to worry about, you know, connectivity. You don't have to worry about servers. You don't have to worry about, like input lag or anything like that online um so yeah i am excited let me know what teams you would want me to go for maybe one la liga team or one uh, premier league team obviously it would be nice to play with real madrid or somebody like that but let me know what you guys think and we can start a master league if you'd be interested in watching that um over on my own channel and uh yeah that is it for me i will talk to you guys later hope this tutorial helped you and uh enjoy